Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. My name is Cornelia Stephanie, and I'm the guest host today. Welcome, everybody. We are here to usher in a brand new paradigm, a brand new paradigm. It's super, super exciting to be in this space that we're in right now. It's electric, it's exhilarating, and it is offering us the opportunity to live with purpose, to live with passion, and to bring our personal best. My goodness, there is so much in store for us in 2020. And truly, without vision, without 2020 vision, where would we be? Where would we be? And so that's what we're going to do with this show today. Have we got a show for you? It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Benny, are you with me? I am, my dear. Benny and the Jets. Benny! Benny! <laughs> go ahead and sing it, my brother. You have been part of Dr. Pat's team for how long? Oosh, oh, boy. Um, 9,000 plus shows worth, maybe, give or take a few. Benny and the Jets. <laughs> yeah, and did you know, did you, I mean, so I'm so grateful to be part of this whole you know, Transformation Talk Radio, to be part of the Dr. Pat uh, transformative vision because we're changing people's lives and we have these amazing platforms. And without her courage and dedication and commitment that it takes to, you know, to birth that vision, look at what we're doing and look at uh, the change and everything that uh, has happened in our lives because of that vision, right? Very true. So I'm, I'm so grateful to, to be here and to be with the Transformation Talk radio team. And also, I just want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to who that team is. So we've got, we've got you, Benny. That's always, you know. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I appreciate want, it. Yep. I want to show the audience later if you can show us where you're at. If you can somehow give us a picture or vision of where you're at for those of you that are um, watching us live online. I'd love to see the studio. If you can manage that somehow, give us that visual. And um, so here's, here's Benny, he's in the studio. And then there's a uh, transformation talk radio building. And there's people that are working in that building. And those are the producers and they're the graphic artists. And they're all the people behind the scenes that help us do what it is that we're doing and producing the shows, you know, and it takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy that we put behind the scenes to get these things put together. So I want to give a shout out to our uh, lovely producer of the Transformation Talk Radio, Dr. Pat, Linda. Linda is a wonderful person that is part of the team. And then Jessica. And then gotta give her a round of applause here. Round of applause for all these people. I mean, we just gotta bring it up. I mean, come on. Bring it up, sure. Benny yeah, and the it. Jets, right? <laughs> so we got, we got, we got, uh, and then we've got Jessica, we've got mm -hmm. Zach, we've got Zach, our, 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 my newest producer, we've got Jessica, and, and so many others. There's Sean, there's so many others. There's Kim, who does all the graphics and makes everything pretty. So really, without their superhuman effort, I mean, they are a walk your talk network. For the last two years, I've been part of this, this Transformation Talk Radio Network, and I've created quite a little media empire myself. You can catch the Cornelia Stephanie Show every Friday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And now we're rolling it out to all my new co-hosts that are with me that are changing the world in the most amazing ways. You can get your online tickets and be live in our studio audience at www.corneliastephaniedip.com and get your tickets any Friday. So I want to ask you, Benny, what was your top for 2019? My talk for 2019? Top, 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 best thing oh, that happened. Oh, top, oh, top. Boy, um, jeez, uh, I don't know if I really had one in particular. I think, okay, no, I'll, I'll come back. I definitely have something. It's about reframing for me, especially. There was a lot going on this year for me, especially um, with just moving around. 
Uh, my boy's mom started with a new job and everything. So, you know, that's about reframing, putting our schedule together and letting our boys run around and have a good time starting back at school. And, oh, yeah, I'm going to go with reframing. Reframing. So that was your top. Awesome. Yeah. You know, I, I love that because we're going to be, we, we want the audience. What is your top? So we want you to call in at 1-800-930-2819 and share with us what your top is, or even type it into the chat. If you're watching us live at Transformation Talk Radio Facebook page, or if you're watching this video later, type it into the YouTube video and tell us what your top was for 2019. I'm going to be sharing what my um, what what was really difficult because we know we also had some difficult uh, energies that we had to face, and uh, you know, it, but that is where the strength comes in when we face those inner challenges and rise above them. And later on in the show, we're going to be talking more about what those themes are with my beautiful guest that I'm going to be introducing you to here in just a little bit. But I want to tell you about what my top was. So I was thinking about that when I was looking at, you know, what are the four most important things that took place for me in 2019? And I thought, was it the time when I went on the national news in June of 2019 to Fresno, California, and I challenged everybody to, you know, release the negative self-talk, to not, you know, uh, talk negatively to the self anymore? Because any, you know, every day we face, we're, we're faced with thinking between 60,000 to 80,000 thoughts per day. And 85% of those are negative. And so I challenged everybody with my 21 day challenge program to release the negativity and not do that anymore and override that energy and let that inner self talk to be only loving, to be only loving. So I thought, was that my top? And then I realized, you know, that's, that, was, that was a top for me to fly out on the news and be featured on the local news. You know, that was the top, but what was really the top? It happened the other day. It happened on December 27th, 2019, when I had Dr. Christiane Northrup on this little radio show, on Cornelia Stephanie radio show. And having Dr. Northrup on, you know, featuring her book, Dodging Energy Vampires, I thought that you know, just having her on featuring her book was, was, was great. But what ended up happening is this woman was so fantastic. She's such an amazing light worker. I mean, she's an influencer. She's been on Oprah's own. She's been on MSNBC. She has been on Rachel Ray. And now she was on this little radio show, Cornelia Stephanie. So that turned out to be my top. And it was really interesting because I invited the audience, just like I'm inviting you today, to go to the Cornelia Stephanie YouTube channel, go look for that interview that I just did with Christiane Northrup, Are You an Empath? And all the people that comment underneath the video are going to get a free gift from me. And you just, you're just going to have to contact me privately to find out what that free gift is. But everyone that participates and puts a comment underneath there is going to get that free gift. So I'm so excited because I had invited everyone to comment. And the first comment that came in that day was, was, was actually yesterday. And before I saw the comment, I thought to myself, that person should win a million dollars. I thought that person should win a million dollars. And you know what happened? I went to look at the comment and it was a negative comment. It was a negative comment. And to boot, it was a negative comment about me. And I was just like, wow. You know, and I had to really swallow that. And I thought, wow, that was an attack. I like a hook, you know, because we're talking about energy vampires and we're talking about these things. And that attack was a personal attack against me. And then I had to, I had to swallow that and deal with that in a way like, what's my truth here and how do I want it? How do I want to be with this? And it was interesting 
you know, I, I sat with it for a little while and everything. And then I decided, you know, it's my YouTube channel. I get to do what I want. And I'm going to go in there and delete that comment. I'm going to go in there, boom, delete it. And deleted the comment. And then next thing you know, the positive comments started coming in. And so that's, that's, that's the, the universe that we're creating is that it's only about love and it's only about support and it's only about expansion. How we treat ourselves and how we treat each other. That was my top. So I'm so excited about the show because when we come back from break, we're going to, I'm going to introduce you to two amazing ladies that are going to be changing the world together with us here right in January in 2020. And we're going to show you how. We'll be right back. You are rewriting the story of your life. You know that your life and the environment you create is based on the energy you bring to it. You're choosing to seed the fertile ground of your life, your foundation, with powerful, beautiful intentions. Just as the seeds that you plant have a life of fulfillment in growing to completion, you can influence the process with your intention of your true heart's desire and vision. Make peace your new habit. Build your foundation on peace and gratitude with this 21-day e-course. Release everything that is not in harmony with your true nature. Create your best life now. Visit CorneliaStephanie.com to sign up today. We are back. You're listening to The Dr. Pat Show. I'm the guest host, Cornelia Stephanie, and have we got an amazing show for you today. You know, in January of 2020, there's going to be a huge event that's going to take place. And that this is what this show is going to be about today, is we want to introduce you to this amazing event that's going to happen that you're invited to be a part of. You know, back in 2012, I created an event here in LaConnor where 350 people from the, around the world joined us in LaConnor to uh, anchor in a new energy after the 2012 era of after 2012, now what? And so this January, what we're doing is we are helping women to rise into their best personal self and you can't afford not to be a part of it. I'm bringing to you two ladies that are co-partnering together with me this event here in January. And now I wanna introduce you to the first lady, Mary Jane Pioli. Welcome to the show, Mary Jane. Hi, thank you very much. Yay, so tell oh. us about what it is that you do who you are, and you've got five minutes to just nail it and just tell us about who you are, what your story is. Okay. Well, thank you for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you, Benny and Jessica. Um, as Cornelia said, we're going to be doing a workshop where we'll tell you a little bit more about it in LaConnor. And I am very grateful to be have been invited by Cornelia and Rebecca Strong, who you'll hear from in a couple minutes, um, to do this work at the beautiful Lux Art Center in McConnor. And what I'm bringing to it, uh, perhaps I'll start with um, what, my, what my purpose um, is and, and back into my story, because we're going to be helping you all figure that out. So my purpose really in life um, is to be a catalyst for authenticity. And I know the word authenticity has been an overused word in the last uh, 10 years. And um, I really came, came into that after, um, after I left a, a very good career in the corporate world. I uh, was on a fast track uh, trajectory, loved the work that I did um, in the corporate world and, and just moved along, moved along, moved along until I finally one day <clears throat> began, while still loving it, not feeling great. And what I realized was that I, my identity and who I was was so tied up in my career, I had lost myself, I had lost who I was. And it physically manifested in migraine headaches um, and, and uh, some other issues. And 
after exploring, um, you know, the medical side of things, and I love that you had um, Dr. Northrop on because her work has really helped me. Um, then I really looked at the spiritual side, what's going on for me. And while I love my career, I realized I am not just my career. So I, uh, I, I left the country. <laughs> my husband and I decided to take a sabbatical and I like to tell my clients, I'm an executive coach now. Uh, and I like to tell my clients that you don't have to leave the country to do this. And I did. That, that's what needed to happen for me. I left the country and traveled through Malaysia and Thailand and Australia and New Zealand, really working to unwind myself, unwind my identity from, from my career. That, it, that, that just wasn't who Mary Jane isn't just my career. And to do that, I really stepped out of learning how to just do. And I learned about being. I had never really understood about beingness. And I, and I first learned how to do that on the beach in Thailand, learning to meditate and swim in the Sea of Siam and, 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 and in the salt water and with the fish and the beautiful environment. But you too can do it in other places. You can do that anywhere. So for me, what I have learned, I came back from my sabbatical and I went back to school and got a coaching um, certification. And in that process, really did a lot of work on what is, who am I and what is my vision and what do I have to bring to the world? And, and what I came from that is, as I said, I'm a catalyst for authenticity, really to, sh to shine the light on people's strengths so that, that together we can look for possibilities and opportunities where maybe you didn't see them before. Um, really to, to help people step out from behind, um, behind um, themselves to really reveal who they are in their work, in their personal life, in all that you do. And so what I love doing so much is helping others do that. Now I'm an executive coach, I'm a business coach, I help people do it in their business, but we all know that we bring our whole selves to our businesses and we can be much um, more fulfilled and we can help our clients and our customers and our families and, and be more, even be more profitable when we really bring our true selves to what we're doing. So that's what I love doing in this world. And during this workshop, I'm gonna be helping us to, to, to hone in on that purpose and the, your purpose doesn't need to be some you know huge thing that you're going to do in the world your purpose is something that really gives you a lens to look through the world gives you a way to make decisions gives you a way to uh, to be in the world and not just be uh busy doing but to stop and 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 be in the world and i use some specific tools to do that i use um connectedness, honoring my truth and my power, um, seeing others and being present. That's what really helps me. In addition to all the other things I do in my business as well to, to be successful and to, to have a growth mindset, continue to grow and develop as a person. And I like to be that catalyst for others to do as well. So that's, that's what I'll share about me. I'm so excited about that because, you know, without purpose, without, you know, examples, and, and support from other people, you know, that, cause that's how we heal. That's how we grow is to have beautiful catalysts and examples. And you are certainly that. And that's why I'm so honored and, and, you know, grateful that you said yes to this. So Jessica, please, you know, show on the screen at any time uh, to the people that they, they can see. We have an early bird special going right now. I think the early bird ends on January the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. And right now, ladies, you can't afford not to be part of this workshop. The workshop, after the, the early bird, it goes back to $300, but right now it's at 225. And really, truly, when you come together with this powerhouse team of the three of us and 22 ladies that are going to really rise into their personal best, you can't afford not to be a part of it so that you can really you know, create your best life, create a legacy that is worth inheriting. And that's what 2020 is going to be about for each of us. Now, let me introduce you to our next player, massive influencer entrepreneur in the world, Rebecca Strong. Welcome to the show, Rebecca. Hello. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. Oh, oh. she stalled. I did. <laughs> okay. It's okay. connection unstable. Yeah. 
So go ahead and talk, Rebecca. We can okay. hear you. Yeah. Am I on? You're on. Okay. Well, I'm, I am so excited to be a part of this radio show this morning and meeting Benny and Jessica and um, want to share my, my background and how I got to where I am today um, as quick as I can. It really begins when I was 20 years old, standing in my shoes, not knowing who or what I was or where I came from. And, you know, as most, and as common, um, a lot of us come from highly um, dysfunctional backgrounds with a lot of mental illness rooted in my family. So I had to find myself. And here I was working minimum wage job, working for someone, and I just thought, there's got to be something better than this. I just, there's got to be something better. So I put myself in college at age 22 and um, elevated my name to Rebecca from being called Becky as a little girl and took on that um, identity that I wasn't even sure what it was going to be and did a lot of self-work, a lot of spiritual self-discovery. Um, I was raised in legalistic um, religion, so I was trying to find other pathways and, and avenues to make sense of, of self and who I was on this earth. So um, propelling um, college gave me that um, sense of, it, it gave me the, it gave, it gave me the information of what I was good at and what my niches were. And one thing profoundly that I discovered in college is I did not want to clock in nine to five. I did not want to clock or give anybody my time. So how was I going to make a living? What was I going to do? Was I going to have a career? What was I going to do? Well, I get through college and I get married in my 30s and have my children and depression comes in full force and I lost myself for a good 12 years. And propelling to my 40s, the marriage um, wasn't healthy. It um, didn't serve me or my children. So there I was, 42, divorce and a single parent and obese. And I just said, I have got to go back to working on myself. I want to feel the way I felt physically and mentally as I did in my 20s. And here I was in my 40s. So um, when my 50s came up, my 50th birthday, I just thought, I, it's going to be a revelation for me, my 50s. I'm, I'm not quite there yet with what I'm doing with my life, but I was working it all along. And um, what I discovered through those 20s and 30s is the most fascinating topic is human behavior. Human behavior has been something I, I'll read books on it. I'll go to classes on it. I just, and I do a lot of observing one of the things I was told in my 20s is I was a terrible listener. <laughs> and it was okay to be told that because I was right at that platform of wanting to do some self-improvement. So I stopped talking and I started listening. And from that day on, I heard so many things. <laughs> and even though you're listening to someone else's story or someone else's experience or watching someone have the best time of their life and you're not, it was still listening and it was still observing and finding out how people come to, to the places that they are. So now that I'm in my 50s and my, my teens, my, after raising my sons as a single parent, I wanted to work on my higher consciousness. And going to work on my higher consciousness meant, oh, I've got to let go, I've got to grow, and get rid of the last bits of fragments that I've been dragging along um, since my since childhood and my 20s. So I, I, I also along this process as I've always been self-employed, I've had six different retail um, businesses and other personal service. Mostly my work is in personal services, providing services and such. So I know that I love the human mind, the body, the spirit and all of that, that it entails. Um, when I was done working the job that I created and I just created another one to move forward and, as best I could. So what I really want to just get propelled to is my life's goal at this age and my time is to support those who are seeking a higher self. And I have approaches for that. I have creative ways with my art center. I was able to um, come across, well, I got married this year. That was my talk for this year. And um, my husband helped create an art center. That has been my dream. And that is my platform that I want 
to serve and give and support um, those women and men, but primarily focuses women right now to help support all those through a creative outlet um, of self-discovery, your purpose, get your clarity, what is going to be your legacy. So I am so excited for 2020 and our workshop coming up in January because um, I just want to go forward with this with no fear and really want to embrace the 22 women that want to come on board and raise their consciousness and their self and their awareness. And life just opens up when you open up and it just falls into place and it just lands there. And we have, um, I'll have creative ways to give you tools to um, open that self up for self-discovery. And I'm just so excited. I'm almost tongue tied. <laughs> I want to thank you though. Yeah. So. Thanks Rebecca. It's like I said, we're going to empower 22 women mm -hmm. to really fully step into their their highest expression of self. And like you said, Mary Jane, you know, to bring our business, to bring our business into our whole, to bring our wholeness into our business, mm -hmm. wherever, in whatever capacity, that's actually the key is mm -hmm. to bring our whole self into our business and to bring our business into our whole self. It's all, it's all the same. So I'm super excited, you know, go to, the website, uh, Rebecca, give us the website really quick. You know, give us the, uh, the, the link. Yes. It's luxlaconner.com. Luxlaconner.com. Yeah. L-U-X. Luxlaconner.com. Yes. And that's where you can get the early bird. And, and like, ladies, like I said, you cannot afford not to be a part of this. 22 women. You know what happens when you're around successful people. You know what happens when you're around people that are influencers. You know what happens when you're around uh, catalysts and game changers. It, it, it just it pro helps propel you forward. So a little bit about me. So I began, my, my journey began in, in, into the empowerment journey, began back in 2000, I mean, long time ago, but I really in earnest left the corporate world myself because I felt like a slave. I was a slave chasing around a dream that I had been programmed and conditioned to, to get the house, to get the, you know, the, the money and the credit cards and all these things to really go after the American dream. When I realized I had no core values, I had no core values. And inside of myself, I had a dream that I had never even begun to even look at and ask, am I really living my dream? Am I really living my best life? And what I wanted to do is I wanted to be a motivational speaker and travel the world. That's what I wanted to do. But I felt like a slave. I had no core values. I had no passion. So when I took the big, huge leap and I said, yeah, I'm ready now to make that dream a reality. I left the corporate world and I got certified in a law of attraction coaching certification. And at the same time, I also got certified with the best transformational leaders in the world, Janet and Chris Atwood, and I became a passion test facilitator. When I, after I, I you know, did that work, I realized that there was still yet a deeper calling for me. And that was my own work, my own work, my soul's work. What was my deep core calling? Because I didn't want to teach anybody else's vision. I didn't want to teach anybody else's stuff. My soul wanted my own. And that is when I developed my own healing modality. There's many healing modalities out there like, you know, tapping or so many different healing modalities on how you can heal yourself. I developed my own through the emotional core work, emotional core wounding and changing the limiting beliefs. And so then, and then also taking that and putting that into a structure. And then I developed my own coaching company. So I'm the CEO of my own coaching company and I have helped countless and countless of people move into their self-healing, their, uh, their wholeness, 
practitioners, they're wholeness practitioners, certified through my coaching program. And I also have a strong business background because I've always been in the corporate world, made other businesses rich and successful, and now making my own business as the CEO of my own company, of my own healing modality and how to really fully heal the self. But first from an emotional core place to make peace with the past, to shift the negative limiting beliefs that say, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, that I'm, you know, whatever those limiting beliefs are, to shift those and to lay the legacy down on a strong spiritual foundation. And when I was on the news in uh, Jan in July of 2019, the, the newscaster, she asked me, how do you become a spiritual teacher? And I've never been asked that before because I didn't seek out to be the spiritual teacher. But I had to discover what my spirituality really meant to me. And I had to discover what things really meant to me. What does God mean to me? What does, what does abundance mean? What does, what does, life mean to me i had to go and face the deepest darkest parts within myself so that i can become my own authority and today that's what i give back to other people is i champion each person to be their own inner authority to be their own guru right to be their own guru and to to learn how to self-govern inner governor and what, what I'm going to be bringing at the workshop is I'm going to assist 22 ladies that are going to be part of our, our tribe, our team, to be the first lady in your own life, to be your own inner queen and rule and govern your own inner kingdom. But with that, you have to know where you give your power away. Is it to toxic relationships? Is it to situations from the past? Is it to any place where your victim energy is present? And I'm going to help you put that stake in the ground so that you don't do that anymore, so that you have a strong spiritual foundation. Your inner queen is activated with your inner king fully present so that you can then, you know, rule and govern yourself from a place of compassion from a place of strength and courage and from a place of integrity if you are not thriving in abundance you're not in your integrity and that's what this workshop is going to be about so let us now take a break and when we come back we're going to tell you a little bit more about our workshop and then maybe we have time for Mary Jane to take us through uh, some questions and some exercises when we get back. But first, I want to tell you, if you are, are still struggling with some emotional, you know, core wounding, negative thought, you can go to take my 21 day challenge at CorneliaStephanie.com. It's $21, a dollar a day. It's going to help you from the comfort of your own home to rewrite the story of your life so that you can really fully ground in, I am confident, I am love, I am whole, I am worthy, and I can be embodied from that place in the comfort of your home. So we'll be right back on the Dr. Pat Show. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, we'll be right back. You are rewriting the story of your life. You know that your life and the environment you create is based on the energy you bring to it. You're choosing to seed the fertile ground of your life, your foundation, with powerful, beautiful intentions. Just as the seeds that you plant have a life of fulfillment in growing to completion, you can influence the process with your intention of your true heart's desire and vision. Make peace your new habit. Build your foundation on peace and gratitude with this 21-day e-course. Release everything that is not in harmony with your true nature. Create your best life now. Visit CorneliaStephanie.com to sign up today.
Welcome back, everyone. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, the guest host for the Dr. Pat Show today. And now I'm with my beautiful co-host, Mary Jane Pioli. And Mary Jane, you're going to ask us a series of questions. I am. Thank you very much, Cornelia. I'm going to ask you some questions to, to help us dive into um, what, what we're going to be teaching here in LaConnor in January. So I want to start with Rebecca first. And Rebecca, um, you probably got from her story, she, she has an abundance of creativity. She approaches the world from a creative place. So Rebecca, tell us, how does creativity lend tools for self-discovery? Well, creativity, um, I'll start off really quick. When I meet people and they say, I don't have a creative bone in my body. And I absolutely don't believe them. And I just wanna hug them and hold them and just say, yes, you do, because we are born creatively. The world is made creatively. We are all creative. And the how it lends the tools by if you allow yourself, whether it's writing, that's why I have an art center because I love writing, theatrical, art, paint, photography, in all forms of creativity, all forms from dancing to even baking, all of that. What, what I love to hear, it connects people with like, oh, I do this because it's therapy. So when you allow yourself to utilize some modality or some medium to just do, it does allow you to open up. And with my presence there, um, whatever the modality is, is I'm there to help guide um, the, the person to just um, open up. I, I approach it prophetically. So my approach is a prophetic approach and a prophetic approach has no limits. There's no boundaries and there are absolutely no rules. And that's what I love. I love no rules because um, I love to live free. So pr the, pr the prophetic, let me just explain a little bit, is pulling from the spirit of light and the energetic light. And that is within us, all of us, every single human body has a light inside. And, and the creative is the tool to ignite that light. Right. Thank you. And, and I, I'll say this during the workshop, we're going to use, uh, we're going to give you the opportunity to do a variety of creative uh, things, different modalities. And we want everybody to come just be open um, again. And because it is prophetic, it, it's nothing you have to come prepared for. Mm -hmm. And Cornelia and, and Rebecca and I have done a bit of prophetic work ourselves preparing for it and have created some beautiful things that are, you're going to receive as a part of each each person will receive as a part of the workshop. So thank you, Rebecca, thank you for that. All right, so Cornelia, tell us a little bit about how we're going to experience, um, you know, claiming our authority. What does that, you know, what, how, how, do we, how does that work and what does it look like? Well, first we have to really look at, you know, how we listen to ourselves and how we treat ourselves. And I'm going to be guiding you in through a series of questions what does your inner queen look like? What does it look like when you are fully in your inner power? Because we truly know what it's like when we give our power away to outside sources, when we respond to events that, that aren't serving us or when we're in toxic relationships. And I'm going to take you through uh, various different exercises so that you really have a strong foundation and anchored in your own personal power. That's, that's going to be the thing. And right. during that time, you're going to really know how to honor the self and how to be in integrity with yourself. And so that you can retire the victim energy entirely and that you can be the ruler, the ruler of your own kingdom, because that's the truth. But okay. you have to know first what it's like to you know, what, what does that look like for you? And I'm going to help you discover that. Terrific. Okay. All right. And um, to add to that, what, I, what I'm going to be doing in helping you discover your purpose or, or really shine the light on it, getting clear, we'll be using storytelling. We'll be um, using connecting with one another, discovering, um, again, in exercises, all within a safe, environment. Rebecca is going to set the environment for us in this beautiful artistic space and do some grounding, physical grounding exercises with us as well. And I will take you through that. What I'd like to share with you that relates to all of what we're talking about. I love Ralph Waldo Emerson's quote, the ancestor to every action is a thought. So we want you to, to, to begin 
um, paying attention, being present with what, what your thoughts are. And Cornelia mentioned this earlier because, you know, you listen to yourself probably more than anyone else. And, and why not speak to yourself kindly and not, why not be clear through your purpose, then your legacy and your authority. And that's what we're going to help you, um, help you do. Um, specifically, we wanted to give you a little nugget today and, and as a celebration of moving into this new decade. So what we'd love to, to share with you and to think about is when you think back on 2019, and you can do this exercise at yourself at home, get a journal, a notepad, something that you can do. Think about these few things. One, what are your gratitudes for 2019? What really are you grateful for? Um, you know, Benny and and Cornelia talked about their top. Um, what, think about what were your wins and your breakthroughs in 2019? And then what were your losses and your disappointments and even your breakdowns? Because we know that we need to have breakdowns often to have breakthroughs, right? So it's important that we acknowledge that. Cornelia has a book on how to, how to deal with your anger and some other things when you have um, the negative things happen. So it's important to acknowledge them. Then, Think about what are the lessons learned? Journal on that, what are the lessons learned? And finally, what we'd love for each one of you listening today to do is to claim what your 2020, the year of 2020 is for you. What's your intention for 2020? So if I were coaching you, I do this with my clients at the end of the year. We look back at 20, the year before, and then we, we claim an intention for the next year. And I ask it like this. If I were coaching you a year from now and asking you this question, what do you wish you had claimed your intention for 2020? So think about that. What is your intention? What do you want this year to be about? This is the year of what for you? What are you claiming in 2020? And do some journaling on that. And we hope you get some clarity because what, what, what I know from the work that I do is once you have clarity, the universe can align. And when you, but, but you don't have to know exactly what it is or what it looks like. You just need to be clear on your values, need to be clear on have momentum going forward and you need to manage those thoughts those thoughts because you're listening to yourself more than anyone else so know that those thoughts are important and they're going to drive what happens in your life and also your language think about your language are you using powerful language all right and we'll do much more of this um, coming up in january so i'm going to turn it back to cornelia thank you mary jane i mean and here's the thing we need to be repetitive you know, everything that we're talking about, that Rebecca talked about, that you're talking about, we need to be repetitive because that's how we, we you know, really anchor that energy in is that inner self-talk, self that releasing the negativity. And, you know, you're going to come to Laconor, this beautiful little romantic town. It's the perfect getaway for you and your girlfriend, for, you, for a husband and wife to come out together and come out here and treat yourself and sign up for that early bird special right now the early bird is 225 and it's going to end on january the 6th we only have space for 22 ladies we chose the number 22 because 22 is a master number and when you leave the workshop you are going to be in your personal self-mastery i mean you can look at the the ladies that are part of this workshop Rebecca, Mary Jane, and myself, we are walk your talk kind of people, and we all have the same intention. And that is to support you to live your highest and greatest expression. And that is our true intention. So if you want to get started right now, you can go to take my 21 day challenge. Mary Jane talked about listing the gratitude. The rewriting the story of your life, the 21 day challenge ha is a guided 10 minute per day opportunity for you to list your gratitudes, for you to list your emotional triggers, for you to really tap into what it is you're releasing and letting go of and where you're claiming your own personal power. You can get that at CorneliaStephanie.com under the tab 21 day challenge. And I can tell you that everybody that takes it absolutely loves it. So that's one way you can get started right now. Go sign up for the workshop and be qualified. Be part of that 22 ladies that's really going to change the history of the planet simply because you're going to step into your personal best and nothing less is going to do for you 
only the best for you. And when I did the radio show the other day with Dr. Christiane, you know, I talked about how important it is to have that automatic self-talk be loving and kind. And when you can respond to yourself with, yes, babe, I got you, babe, I love you. When you can respond from that place, from that inner dialogue that's talking to you, the critic has been retired, the addict has been retired, the victim has been retired, and the eternal self, the higher self is walking in the physical body. That's, that's what we're doing. So I just wanna say, how much time do I have, Benny? Uh, looks like we have about five minutes left in the show. Awesome. Oh, good. Good. Then I can engage my, my ladies one more time. But I just want to say, too, you know, I'm going to make um, something crazy available for the audience. Just up until January the 6th, anyone that wants to work on a personal empowerment session with me, personal, releasing your pain from the past, you know, having a clean slate, an intuitive empowerment session, I'm going to make it available to everybody only till January 6th for $99 one hour with me and I can guarantee you that you are going to be claiming parts of yourself that that are ready really now to be anchored in to make that available contact me on private messenger Facebook or email me at radio at Cornelia Stephanie.com if you want to co-host together with me on the radio which, you know, I'm a businesswoman and I help people become seen, become heard. I help people, uh, you know, become accidental entrepreneurs. So I have a couple spots open right now that are ripe and ready for you, the entrepreneur that's really ready to get your message out to the world. You can contact me at radio at CorneliaStephanie.com. And uh, I just want to say that, you know, my theme for 2019 was my my big big theme for 2019 what was my lesson that i learned and it was i had to experience deep loss and you know what the deep loss that i'm talking about is losing somebody that i deeply love through death person that i was really i was really angry about that because this person you know was a light worker and I thought we had made the intention to be around for the long haul. And I was really, really shocked by that, by that loss. It, it, took, me, it took me a long time to, for, to really forgive that, you know, it really touched me deeply. And some personal relationships that meant a lot to me. And through those lessons, I learned not to be attached, not to be attached, to really, uh, you know, process my attachment and discover what it's like really truly to be an independent sovereign being that you know knows how to cope with life with the losses and the things that that happen to all of us and so you can see the wealth of wisdom that these ladies are going to be bringing that we're all going to be bringing so that 2020 vision is really going to be your best life anything else you want to say mary jane well, I would say I would um, really look forward to hearing, uh, for those of you who decide to come, what, you, what your year of 2020 is about so we can build on that, um, because that will give you um, a way to make decisions in 2020. It'll give you your future. Mine, for instance, in 2019 was abundance. That was my, uh, my word or my foundation. And I mean abundance in many different ways, um, in relationships, deepening relationships, you know, as well as financial um, as well as uh, friendships, uh, abundance in being abundantly in nature. Um, so looking at it in, in how many ways can you take a look at it? So I'm really excited to, to hear what people come up with for their 2020, because this is such an important year, the start of a new decade. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. We got one minute for you, babe. <laughs> sure. So um, I'm excited to meet all 22 and just how that, what a powerful, powerful, um, um, atmosphere that will um, become. And I'm excited to work with um, all of you ladies prophetically. And that is just kind of getting your focus. And exactly when you come, it is just about you. And it's just about you and what you're wanting, what you're building. 
and I am I'm there to do that creatively. I will be taking a little bit of meditative grounding work with you to get us started and get us focused. And it's just um, I'm excited to see what unfolds, and I'm excited to see what you bring. And no matter what you bring, you will take away amazement, and you will be amazed. We look so forward. We look so forward to you playing with us. Twenty-two women are going to change their life in 2020 and finish strong. We look forward to see you here. Thanks ladies for joining me on the Dr. Pat show today. It's an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Jessica, the producers from the show. We love you all. God bless and we'll see you next time. Namaste. New Year.